Okay, continuing our typesetting task for the menu, we need to change some parts of the text to different sizes. And uh, one of the things that I'd like to do again, are there any um, tasks that are the same as each other on the uh, lines of text that are close pro proximity to each other? And if you notice in this area here, for the dessert menu and the glyph underneath, they have the same type size and the same letting. They also have space after, which we will add onto it, but they do have different space after. So one of the things that I advise um, is to do as many things together as possible so that you can save time. The other thing to keep in mind, and I want to zoom in here a little bit, is that you, when you select a whole line of text, you want to include the hidden character which is your um, return. It could be the soft return, it could be the paragraph return. If you do not select that along with everything, later on when you try to adjust things and change things, if you have a different type setting to the paragraph return and the rest of it, it could screw things up and I can't even describe how bad it can get. All right, so those two things had the same size. And uh, one of the things that I'm, I'm going to just kind of fly pretty quickly through this, but we'll be using the control panel. We'll be changing types uh, face. When we get to that, you can also highlight that. And if you know the type face, you can start typing in the type face as opposed to um, clicking and trying to find among the big list here if we have it or not. Okay, so type size, um, you what I'm doing again is clicking on the icon so that I can highlight the text in there and just type it in. Okay, so it speeds up our production time. It's all about timing on this. Okay, so it's 23.5, press enter. Um, next one, the letting is uh, 14.5 and so I globally change those uh, two things together. Alright, so we're in good shape with that. Okay, the next thing is this whole line here and um, is going to have a space after. So I need to change to the paragraph formatting controls right here and the space after now um, if you don't want to use the control panel, you can always get into the paragraph panel. Space after, that's what I'm looking at. And if we take a look at right here, this space after, you can see it says P6. All right, we've been talking about how we write point sizes or picas and all that kind of measurement of um, our, our sizes of our type uh, fonts. And the P represents picas. Well, there's nothing before it. Usually what we write is um, a zero P6 would mean zero picas um, and six points. The six after the P means we've got points after picas. So in essence, I could um, actually type in here afterwards right here if I click on the icon to type this in because this is in terms of inches you don't want inches you want point sizes 0 p6 uh, six means 6 points I could also write it as um, 6 pt but uh, what we wrote before that's exactly what it means 0 p6 or p6 six, 6 points and that pushes everything um, down a little bit all right, and after the um, glyph, that's what that represents. I'm going to go um, 0p3 according to uh, the specifications right here. Okay, so that pushes the rest of that down. Okay, um, the next thing now, what else do we have on this here? We have a raised cap in this area, and so you're going to want to highlight that and this is kind of your choice on it. I'm going to go back to the um, uh, characters here and the type size. Now I could use the little spinner 
um, arrows here up and down. So I'm going to click up and changing the type uh, size right there, okay, with the arrow. And just make it look good. This one is not a specification. You just need to look, uh, okay, that looks good to me, and we're done, okay? So, whoop, I kind of undid that just a little bit. All right, there. Um, then the Adobe Garamond Pro Regular on my um, little glyph here. So the glyph itself, um, the typeface, so I'm going to include the paragraph return on it. Typeface is Adobe Garamond Pro Regular. Okay, so Adobe Garamond Gara. Yeah, and it's limiting my choices here. Um, Garamond Pro Regular. Okay, so then that typeface. Now, if you don't have Adobe Garamond Pro, you need something with a little bit of an ornament or a glyph that, that's a part of the typeface. Not all typefaces have it. Um, Minion Pro does have some ornamentation. In fact, um, if I were to look at the glyphs panel, and again, anytime you want to get to a panel, go under window, anything that's for type, like glyphs or character, type and tables, you want to find it uh, in there. Okay, so uh, under Adobe Garamond Pro, I selected to show the ornaments. Not every typeface has ornaments. This one does, and it has a few of them. Now, what if I want to, to have a different one? What if I want to have um, uh, Minion, okay, which also has ornamentation? I just know for a fact it does. So I can type that in and select ornaments, again, to just show those. What if I like that? So I'm going to select one of those. So we don't have to be the same. Now, selecting an actual um, ornament, and you can see here I had the return selected as well. Well, that put me on the same line. It got rid of that. So I just need to press return or enter um, for in that line, okay, to push it back down. So we're in good shape with there. I'm going to zoom out just um, a little bit so we can see more of our stuff. Now moving down, we're, we want to get to um, the uh, next part, which is the name here. We have the correct typeface, but the size is needing to be, uh, mm, let's see if it needs to be changed, 11.5 type, okay, for the names of them. Now I want to refer to the names of them, see what I got. Uh, going here because it's a little difficult to read this across. So, all right, these names here are making me hungry. So, again, I'm going to type this in 11.5. All right, invalid. Okay, sometimes that happens where, okay, I'm typing this in. Come on now. <laughs> all right, uh, 10, no, 11. Point five. If you fat finger it, it may not accept those changes. Okay, blueberry Italian cheesecake. Again, select your the end of the line as well. Point 0.5. Alright, I like to whisper to myself, am I doing this right? Yeah, I am. Click on it. 11.5 type. I kind of say it out loud to make sure that I'm doing it um, consistently. Now later in some other um, of our, oh, did I have that all selected? No, I didn't. So that was a mistake, 11.5. Okay, I didn't have it all completely selected. Now that doesn't seem to make a huge difference. Okay, really in reality it does. The next thing that I want to do is change my um, uh, the description. And here I'm not selecting the end of the line because you notice that we've got different type size and um, uh, font for um, the what we see here is the price and the description. So I want to select just the description. Okay, so that is, what is it? Um, 
Ah, Minion Pro Italics. I'm going to take a look at that. Minion Pro Italic for it. And we already have the type size. We have a space uh, 0.9 after and no hyphenation. And it's also a different color. So I want to do all this in one fell swoop. All right, so, um, and I'm going to go ahead, click in the type face and start typing Minion Pro and it's italic. Okay, what did we say? Um, swatches is where I'm going to change a color. The swatches panel, you want to look for that under window. Swatches, okay. Uh, do I have the swatches panel out? Yes, I do. Okay, so that might be under color. Ah, here we go. There's so many panels. We look for it under color. Swatches, okay. So we do have actually a blue, and that's what I want. I'm going to choose the um, paragraph, and um, I want to have a space after. Okay, and we'll go zero. P9, um, press return. Now, I would normally go through the whole thing and each and every one individual, but the last thing that we're going to do here um, is just the price size, okay? And if I go to the size here, what size is it? It's 7.5, okay? And so I want to change that to 7. 0.5. All right, now I'm going to take care of the rest of this, and then you're going to go also and highlight the um, text for the description, change that, uh, those the color, the saw, the, the, not the size, but the typeface, and the space after on all of these, and then change the price size on all of these. And then we're almost done. We just have a few details to finish in the next video.